Larry, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. I think I know what it is. I'm sorry about the joke. It's obviously not I, for you. I didn't really care about the joke. That's not why I got up and left. Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I don't know if you've noticed or not. Every time after my mom takes a sip of something, she makes this really obnoxious sound. She smacks her lips together and does this little ah, thing. <laughs> have you noticed that? I have noticed. It's awful. Yeah. It's right? horrible. Isn't that it? It's humiliating. All of my friends make fun of me in the morning when she drops me off. I just, I can't take it anymore. Someone has to tell her to stop, and it has to be you, because oh. you're the only one who can stand up to her. Look, I'm flattered, kid, that you would consider me for such a delicate assignment, but I, I have to tell you, I'm, uh, I'm out of that business. Ask your father. He'll do it. My dad is fine, Liz. He can't stand up to her. He's scared of her. You're the only one who could do it. As tempting as it is, kid, I'm not your man. But you... So I guess you won't be playing golf on Saturday. What are you talking about? I couldn't help but overhear some of the conversation you were having with my dad. And um, it seems if Ron were to find out about his wife, then your little golf game would be called off. You would do that? Try me. All right. So you're going to talk to my mom? I'll talk to your mom. Good. Boy. You really are your mother's daughter, aren't you? Yeah. Now get the fuck out of my driveway, you bald prick. <laughs>